the data in the way in which the column of data is so to easily access or to verify the values in the data. So data structure is a uh, it's a efficient data structure we can construct the efficient algorithm. Data structures plays a vital role in constructing the efficient algorithm. So data structure acts as a indicator for making an efficient algorithm. So MIT mostly shares the algorithm data structure day to day. It will learn to and understand and explore what I do. After sharing data structure, we may be known to be the algorithm. So let's begin with time complexity. So if you learn about time complexity or good old notation, you might see something. What are you? So, let me uh, explain you to the simple example of time complex. Uh, time to go. Uh, we are we are all at the same. We may be seeing gold. So, I got to play like a game. Let's be clear. So, this game might be of size 60 kg or 70 kg. 60 kg or 70 kg. This is a too large size. So, uh, I can my friend is having the case. I am I like to go function and we both use a network which is just one GB per second. and my friend can be just a little bit away from my phone. So I would like to go to the goal function. This method do I take up? Like going to his phone and getting to uh, this uh, hard disk and taking the goal function. Or to share via internet. So the most of this travel goes for second speed time degree to go to his phone, take a hard disk, copy the game, come to him and see. So it is an efficient thing. If you are using internet, you might be using a large amount of data as required for this. So it should be not enough for me to share this data. So let's consider one another game. Let's use this one. So, you can do this. You can try to do this in such a way. You can try to do this chat by internet. I will not be able to do it in this way. And so, I'll select such a way. So, the outcome complexity is that to find or study the efficiency of the algorithm. In case then, the price is very low. And to be able to go to this way, other than sharing by internet. But in case two, because 
their body. But in creating a new place, wherever I even I get a few uh, bits of food, I will create a particular beach there. I will link my address to some other space which is containing lots of food, I like to bite or something new. So if the beach is split and I will get a bit of such a new, it will be split back on it. And the operation to link it. Last is a 
plus an AC is adding an element from the back and removing an element from the front of a surface of B. Adding an element from the front that is going to be a three sided complexity analysis of two objects. A two sided stack is going to be a three sided stack. So before the vessels are entering and for entering and disappearing the inside, I see now going to be a Okay. We are explored about the types of data structures, then the types of data structures, as primitive and as primitive data structures. The primitive data structures we are the linear arrangement, which can be directly accessed by the memory, and we saw a non-primitive data structure that is once again classified as linear and non-linear. The linear data structure is that is arranged in flow charts and queues. So that we discuss about all the linear data structure assumptions, and the non-linear data structure is contains a stack. Uh, no, sorry, it contains a graph and tree, and we discuss what is meant by ODT. ODT is the stack data type. It goes to have a minimal uh, operation, and the, the methods are stack methods are uh, associated with it. Is 
program Let's discuss this first. So, time complexity of thinking 